Hello everybody, Bill Shaka. Welcome to another edition of the 5 Minute Motivator. I am truly excited to be here with you. Uh, today and tomorrow I'm going to cover some topics in strategic planning. I've been bantering back and forth with some individuals that ask if strategic planning can actually be taught. And, uh, you know, since I've been teaching strategic planning for almost 40 years at the uh, academic level and 30 years at the executive education level, I could say with some kind of um, uh, consistent candor that, yeah, it can be taught. So I I'd like to, you to consider uh, today is Strategic Planning 101, how to deploy practical strategies that work. This is part one. Tomorrow, well, we'll have part two. Now, I've got six strategies all together that I've developed over time and that I have found on the Internet and have kind of massaged uh, to my way of thinking. And uh, so there's three today and three tomorrow. So let's, let's take a look at them. Strategic Planning 101, how to deploy practical strategies that work. Here's the first one. Don't make it too complicated. Do not make your strategy too complicated. Too many times we think that we're in a strategy session that what we need to do is, is, is figure out the, uh, the Big Bang. Uh, no. You know what, folks? Th this is not, um, this is not uh, astrophysics. Uh, it it's, it's should be a relatively simple process. Uh, you need to develop the direction that you want to go in. Base, well, you need to have your vision. You need to develop strategies to get to that vision, then tactical implementations to move those strategies forward. It's a really simple process if you think about it. Uh, play chess and you, you'll get the idea. Uh, so not, not making it too complicated. Here's the second strategy that I would consider uh, if I were you. Uh, get the people who will be executing the strategy involved in the planning process. So consequently, what you may want to do is if you have uh, five grand strategies, so to speak, for this year, uh, you may want to actually form five uh, committees. Now, we don't want to make this too cumbersome. But uh, put the head of each of the committees, somebody who is involved in the process of moving that plan forward. So, you know, for example, if one of the strategies are uh, we want to grow market share by 15 percent, well, you know, maybe the vice president of marketing should be the head of that uh, committee. Or maybe uh, the assistant um, director of marketing should be the head of that committee because you're trying to groom him, for more him or her for more executive positions. Think about that. Um, so, so think that through. You might also have a manufacturing person that has shown an interest in marketing, and this might be their time to shine. Ha -ha. You could actually get manufacturing uh, guidance into the marketing plan. So think about that. Get the people who will be executing the strategic plan into the planning process and get them excited. Make sure that this is an exciting process. There are too many times. I mean, I've, I, I've been on the strategic planning committee in academia uh, a, a couple times, and I have to tell you that... Uh, most of those sessions were as dry as rat dung. I mean, it was just terror. They were just terrible sessions. Uh, it, it, you know, it was like it was like going for a moderate root canal. Uh, make them exciting. Here's the third: have weekly check-ins and monthly strategy meetings that are short and to the point. The last thing you want to do is say the last Wednesday of every month we will have a strategy meeting that will start at 9 a.m. and into 3 p.m. Oh. God, I mean, what are you telling these people that that is going to happen every month? You're telling them that that um, the strategy uh, uh, report out is going to be a long, arduous process. Stop that. Make them sure. Make them to the point. Make them fun. Bring donuts. Uh, do, do something that's interesting. Anyway, Strategic Planning 101, how to deploy practical strategies that work. Yes, strategic planning can be taught. Here's three, three strategies that you could put into place. Uh, don't make them too complicated. Uh, get the people who will execute the strategy involved in the planning process and get them excited. And then the third is uh, ha have weekly check-ins and monthly strategic planning meetings that are short and to the point. Guess what? If you execute any of those, you just learned something about strategic planning. Not bad, huh? Bill Shaka, thanking you for attending another edition of the 5-Minute Motivator. Please like, share, comment. Please join the memberships. See you tomorrow for part two.